This is a cobra, a reptile in the genus Nadja, species classification of the Aphagus hanna, context trying to survive in a field in South Asia. And this is a farmer. And this is a British colonial governor, both in the genus Homo, species classification Sapiens sapiens, context trying to survive in a field in South Asia. This is a demand supply curve, as constructed by an economist, context, area of knowledge human sciences, discipline, economics, context, trying to survive in textbooks and academic departments. What would happen if we were to transfer the knowledge of this demand and supply curve from its academic context to the field context of the cobra and the homo sapiens? Well, this knowledge transfer is apparently what a British governor did in the 19th century when he decided that a way to reduce the number of injuries to Indian farmers from snake bites was to pay the farmers for dead cobras. We are told that this led to enterprising people breeding cobras and handing them in for extra payment. Now this only led to an increase in the overall number of snakes, which was the exact opposite of what the colonial governor had originally hoped for. Well, the story is apocryphal and I couldn't find any evidence for it. It's become known as the cobra effect, an example of the unintended consequences of the transfer of knowledge. And it serves as a good starting point for Talk Essay 4, May 24.